Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me Nisa. In this video, I will present pragmatics analysis since there are many materials in pragmatics, so I've chosen politeness strategy as my analysis. So, the title for this study is Politeness Strategy in a Movie Entitled Wild Child. Before we go further, we should know first what politeness is. Politeness is a respectful act or manner to indicate regard to other people. In linguistic point of view, politeness is a subject that deals with what kind of language that's appropriate to use in showing regard. According to Lakoff, politeness is what we think is appropriate behavior in particular situation in an attempt to achieve and maintain successful social relationship with others. Actually, being polite is important in people's life, especially in our culture, because someone's personality can be judged and seen through politeness. You must be confused how I analyze the politeness analysis. So, I will analyze politeness strategy through movie entitled Wild Child. I choose this movie because this movie has many things related to politeness and its focus on teenagers because generally politeness is mostly used to have conversation with, with older people and between subordinate to subordinate but also can be used within the conversation among teenagers. So while child is directed by Nick Moore, the genre is comedy, drama and romance. For the length of the movie is 2 hours 4 minutes and the rating is 6.1 out of 10. I will tell you a brief description of this movie. So this movie is about a teenage girl named Poppy from America. So this one is Poppy. She has to move to England to study in a boarding school. At first, Poppy is a stubborn childish rich girl who likes to hold party and mostly does whatever she wants to do. Then, because she is experiencing an extreme life changing since she moved to her boarding school, she begins to change her personality to be a better person than before. In this case, through Poppy's personality change, I want to analyze whether there are differences in the way she communicates that contains politeness strategies. And then we move on to the research problem. So my research problem for this study is how politeness strategies are constructed by Poppy Moore to the female teenagers in Wild Child movie. So for method, there are several steps that I had taken. First, I watched the full movie streaming at gomovies.2 or you can also download it and watch it offline. This type consists of repeating the scene which contain politeness strategy in the conversation of Poppy and the female teenagers over and over. Secondly, I was taking notes related with relevant to the analysis. Thirdly, I made transcription of the dialogue. The transcription is only the dialogue between Poppy and the female teenagers that contain politeness strategies. The last step was classifying the data. And then the next section is finding. When we socialize with people, we usually pay attention to their face. Kaufman says our face is like a persona which we present in a conversation. It changes from situation to situation. Face is maintained by the audience, not by the speaker. According to Brown and Levinson, they developed Kaufman's theory of face into a theory of politeness. So there are two kind of face theory in here. The first one is positive face and then the second one is negative face. Within their everyday social interaction, people generally behave as if their expectation concerning their public self-image or their face wants will be respected. So there are two kind of face act in here. The first one is face saving act and then the second one is face threatening act. Face saving act is speaker say something to lessen a possible threat or to maintaining a good self image. 
and then face threatening act. It speaker say something that represent a threat to another individual or expectation regarding self image. Also, this type of face threatening act can be avoided. People try to mitigate the impact by speaking in an indirect way. Brown and Levinson sum up human politeness behavior in four strategies which correspond to this example. The first one is the belt on record strategy, the second one is positive strategy, the third negative strategy, and then the last one of record indirect strategy. I will explain all the four strategy in here. So the belt on record strategy does nothing to minimize threat to the hearer face without redress involving doing it in the most direct, clear, unambiguous, and concise way possible. And then positive strategy show you recognize that your hearer has a desire to be respected. It also confirm that the relationship is friendly and expresses group reciprocity. And then negative strategy also recognize the hearer's face but also recognize that you are in some way imposing on them. The face threatening act it performs utilizing strategies oriented toward redressing the negative face treat to the hearer. Some other example would be to say, I don't want to bother you but blah 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 or I was wondering if blah 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 something like that. Of record indirect strategy takes some of the pressure off of you. The linguistic output strategy include more than one ambiguously attributable intention so that the actor can be held to have committed himself to one particular intent. It favored by many Eastern culture more. And we move on to the discussion. Conversation 1 This conversation is Poppy's utterance before her personality changes. So in this case, Josie is one of the Poppy's roommates. She shows that she doesn't know iPhone at all. Then Kiki, the other Poppy's roommate, tells that it's an iPhone that's blooming and says good luck to Poppy in getting signal. After that, Poppy gives feedback to Kiki by saying the utterance below. So this is contain negative politeness strategy. In her utterance, Poppy used the word maybe that's classified as hedge because it means that word can be true only in certain respects because hedge is part of negative politeness. Actually, Poppy's goal in saying that's because she wants to advise Kiki to change her cell phone to a trendy one. Poppy says to criticize Kiki's cell phone in softened way. She adds the word maybe to indicate that the advice is not a force and because Poppy is aware of Kiki's negative face. So in this case, it depends to Kiki whether she will change her cell phone or not. The word entering the 21st century initiating modern era, which means that by changing her cell phone to the modern one, Kiki can be considered as entering the modern era. And then conversation 2 is about Poppy after her personality change. So in this case, Poppy say the utterance when she and the roommates are discussing about the school dance on Saturday night, Trippy, one of the roommates, utters that only teachers, Moran, and Harriet that bother to dress fancy. Then Poppy suddenly state that she will help to make them dress up fancy. And all the roommates listen to Poppy. It contains positive politeness strategy. Include both speaker and hearer in the activity. It's because he stated the word we that's categorized as inclusive we in the strategy. Inclusive we itself is one of the criteria of this strategy 
So that's why the utterance stated by Poppy above belongs to positive politeness strategy. By uttering the sentence, Poppy wants to maintain her positive face to be liked by her roommates because she wants to help them to look fancy and she wants to gain cooperative of them all to give contribution to effort to dress up fancy. In this case, she used inclusive we to initiate to initiate that the roommates are approved as the same member of a group, so that's why she needs their cooperativeness. So I've made two tables. The first one is basic personality, so it's the real personality of Poppy before she joined the school. So her personality is stubborn, childish, and arrogant. So for the table one, in the table above, the utterance produced before Poppy's personality changes are displayed. Based on those five data, Poppy applies one strategy of Bolton record, two strategies of negative politeness, two strategies of off-record politeness, and there's non strategy of positive politeness. And then let's move on to the table two, which is about the after personality change, we could know that that she's became easygoing, friendly, and care to her roommates. So, among the six data in the after personality change table, Poppy applies two strategy of Bolton record, three strategies of positive politeness. One strategy of negative politeness and none of off record strategy. I divided the table because in movie Poppy's personality change and it can be seen from the table one and then from the table two. That's her personality is really changed. Based on the discussion above, it can be concluded that before her personality change, Poppy applies only three politeness strategy. And the dominant is negative politeness, and there's none of the positive politeness at all, because she's still new in her environment, and her female friends are considered as strangers who have social distance to her. However, after her personality change, Poppy mostly used positive politeness because cooperation and intimacy are created strongly between them, and they have the same wants. So let's move on to the conclusion. The conclusion are generally after and before her personality change, Poppy construct politeness by applying both on record, positive politeness, negative politeness, and off record. Moreover, Poppy also does the acts that straighten the hero negative face, such as order, promise, and compliment. And the act that threaten her positive face, such as criticism, and act that threaten her own face as the speaker, such as apologize. At least through this study, it can be concluded that personality change and difference of culture can be influenced the way someone construct politeness. In Poppy's case, there are differences in the way she construct politeness before and after her personality change since she moved to boarding school and here is some of my references so it can be seen that politeness is important in people's daily life it's used not only to older people but also when communicating with people at the same age in this case based on this analysis it's hoped that people especially female teenagers can know the appropriate kind of politeness strategy that's suitable to be used while communicating to other female teenagers. That's all for today. I hope you enjoy and find this video helpful. Thanks and see you on my next video. Bye bye. You can find me at Kutia Hairunisa and there's my email. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.